One of the things we found that's really remarkable is that cancers just don't grow by cell division. They also grow by seeding. And we know that cancers can seed metastatic sites, so you can go from the breast to the bone or the lung or the liver, but we're discovering that cancers can also go back to themselves, and metastatic cells can spread back to the tumor itself. So the growing tumor is not like an oak tree, one organized collection of, of cells, but more like a weed bed with a lot of little plants that are stuck together. Each one needs its own blood supply, each one needs its own supporting cells that it brings from the bone marrow to grow, and it explains a lot about cancer that was rather mysterious before. Well, we, we did notice indeed that the tumor can uh, attract cells that are, are, are metastatic back to itself. The big question is, by attracting cells back to itself, is it preventing those cells from going to other places? And that's something we're investigating right now. But it's very intriguing as a possibility because we do know in breast cancer, for example, that very few patients develop metastatic disease uh, at the time that they present with their cancer. It happens several years afterward. Why is it happening several years afterward? Perhaps it's because the tumor now is gone and the cells have to go to a second choice of a place to grow, like lung, liver, and bone, because their first choice, the primary tumor, has, has now been uh, controlled. Uh, and this is an intriguing possibility because it not only tells us something about the biology of cancer growth, but there's a lot of ways perhaps that we can exploit this therapeutically. We're looking at a number of things now that, 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 uh, that, that could make sense in, in that regard. Changing the tumor itself so it can't grow but it can still attract cells to come back to it, uh, putting in a, a, a fake tumor. If the, t if the tumor is acting as a sponge, can you put in a fake sponge and track the cells back? There, there are a lot of possibilities here and all those things are under investigation right now. What's really fascinating is that if the seeds are acting like stem cells, and we try to avoid the term, uh, or tumor initiating cells might be better, but we just call them self-seeds, uh, that, that a tumor that's growing predominantly by the process of seeding rather than the process of, of cell division it can be expressed mathematically. And when one has that mathematical equation, it tells you something very different about the way you should time your drugs and the doses you should use than if you're primarily going after a uh, a tumor that's growing by mitosis. Uh, the, the way you would try to get rid of an oak tree is different than the way you try to get rid of a weed bed. With a weed bed, you're trying to affect the seeding process. You're dealing with a lot of small plants stuck together. With an oak tree, it's a big process. It all has one, one set of roots and so on, so that the strategies would have to be rather different. And we're finding that, that if you're going after seeding as your primary goal, the doses and schedules of drugs we use might be very different than the doses and schedules of drugs that, that you would use if you're going after mitosis. So we've been doing this modeling, and we have some very novel, uh, somewhat counterintuitive dose schedules uh, of various agents, and they're going to be going into clinical trial very soon.